Well, I think I'd just better ask um, Carl a couple of quick questions about Hitler. Then we can, uh, we can you know, get on with our lives. Okay, yeah, we can tick that particular box. <laughs> yeah, put that, uh, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, Carl. Okay. Put that particular it's, dictator it's, to bed. It's, we, it's, it's week three of his education. We've, you've nailed Rasputin and Che Guevara. I don't want to lose complete sight of those. I, you know, I'll maybe um, ask you a couple of those in the week just to see, keep your, your mind on it. But Hitler. What, Tell us what, a story. What have you learnt? Do you want to ask some questions? Uh, no, not really. Just, 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 just sum it up in a minute. What you? What, what I can't do, you do it in a minute. <laughs> well, I, I, can I ask some questions then? Uh, where was he born? Austria. Tell us about his early life. Right, he was a young lad. Um, <laughs> he, uh, <laughs> brilliant. <laughs> what in his early life? <laughs> okay. Yeah. He, what's the name? His, his, um, his mum yeah. was his dad's second cousin, which is a bit weird. Yeah, that is weird. Um, they had five kids. <laughs> He's going, yeah, it's usually first cousin where I come from. <laughs> oh, that's unfair, isn't it? Jeez. There's no need oh. for that. There was, uh, there was there was five kids, but only two of them, including Hitler, um, including uh, him and his sister survived. The others died at an early age. Okay. okay. All right. Um, anyway, so they grew up, and um, the mum died, and the dad died, and that. And he thought, oh, what am I going to do? Because he didn't do well at school, didn't have many qualifications. No. Liked art. Did he have a GCSE in history? Liked art, right. And then, um, so he said, right, I'm going to go out to Munich. I missed a bit out, actually. Jewish people were in Austria, he didn't really like them. Okay. Uh, he thought they got, you know, uh, special treatments and stuff and just didn't like them. So he went to Munich and, um, he, uh, he joined the army. Right. Yeah? Yeah. And, um, he was in the army, and he got injured. Right. So he went to hospital, and whilst he was in hospital, uh, the w World War One ended, and he was like, oh, God, I want to... I was doing that. Yeah, you know, you know. <laughs> so... <laughs> don't, because you're breaking the concentration. Yeah, right? sorry. I, I'm not even sure I want to join in on this one, just in case. Okay. Right, go on. Right, so, um... So he was in hospital. World War One. He was in hospital. Ended. It gets a bit better. He's never that fit, though. He's one of these blokes who was always ill. Uh, that was on something like 30 tablets a day or something. Comes out of there, uh, joins some other army. Um, right. God, you know, I knew it all this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's just, I can see it running to ground. <laughs> I just see his face going, I'm, I'm not nailing the fact, am I? And joined a, another army and he was... Well, <laughs> he was listen, listen, let's try to help you. So here's, a good bit, here's a good bit, I remember this bit. He thought that war to men, right, was like childbirth is to women. That's how important he thought he was. Oh, right. Right? So it's like, um, you know, you, you fight for nine months and at the end of it you own something, right? Yeah. yeah. So, um... He, he goes on and all that. He's in Berlin. Yeah. And, uh, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's fighting his way through, like, you know, trying to take over countries and that. And he does, uh, does he do Berlin? Does he? Sorry, wait a minute. Is, is he, is he, uh, <laughs> is he Chancellor yet? Uh... What year is it? So it's 35? So let's, where, skip, where let's skip the kind of climb to power then. He's now, he's now, he's now the dictator of Germany. Right, he's in yeah. charge, yeah. And this is when, you know, he gets his own back on the Jewish people and that, and he's, he's, uh, he's got his own little armies, uh, and he's setting fire to Jewish businesses and, and all this. And, uh, anyway, cut a long story short, he, uh... Please do. He, uh, when he came to, like, f fighting Britain... Yeah. ...came a bit sort of un unstuck. Yeah. Right? Started fighting Not that. so easy, is it, this world domination, Adolf? Britain was there. France was helping out. Yeah. Americans were helping out. Yeah. So well, thought, oh god, so a bit he goes, late, but yeah, go he, go, on. he goes into a bunker in Berlin. Yeah. And it's all kicking off. Yeah. And apparently, like Germany, sort of surrenders. Yeah. So it's all over. Forget it. We can't beat you. He was really annoyed with this, and he thought, oh, I can't, I can't show my face around here. <laughs> so he. Uh, <laughs> Because <laughs> it would be embarrassing. He's, he's with his missus, who nobody knew was his wife, right. Eva, in this bunker. Yeah. And um, so uh, so he said, oh, I've had enough of this. He shoots himself. Yeah. <laughs> she poisons herself. And the chauffeur buries him or something, or burns him. Right. And uh, in all the time he was in charge, 50 million people died. 
So that's 1918 to 1945. Yeah. Uh, between it felt like that. Be- <laughs> between Travis and the Red yeah. Hot Chili Peppers right. next week. That's fantastic. That's remarkable. Ne- I, I have to say that you, you, you sort of lost your grasp somewhere along the line, because you started off confidently, but yeah, you lost I've your I've had a really busy week, and last night I was like whizzing through it. Sure. And then this morning I woke up and, you know, Suzanne had been away for about three days, right? Yeah. I, I, I hardly spoke to her. She's been busy, I've been busy. First thing to say when I wake up, oh, just ask me some stuff on Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> you are romantic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. That's how stressful it's getting. But I knew it all this morning, honestly. No, but that's, that's fine. I think you've summed up the, you know, you've done that. Yeah, right, just, just for a bit of balance, um, I've got your next week's um, homework. It's the same same series. There's little books. There's tiny little books. Just three inches long by two inches wide. Crammed with so much information. Though. Winston Churchill. There you go. You'll enjoy that. Yeah. I, I'm getting a bit bored now, though. <laughs> this is what happened in school. Think of the listeners. Did really well in infants. Once got to secondary, lost interest. Was it the breakup between <laughs> you and Harris <laughs> and Zoe? The, 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 well, I'm wondering if yeah, you've spiralled into something there. Yeah, because it, it's, it's like all these other, you know, these men, these men of history. They always had sort of things happen in their early childhood, didn't they? Maybe yeah. yours is the Zoe Harris um, dress yeah. incident. Well, let's just refer to it as the Zoe incident. Yeah. From now on. Yeah. yeah. Winston Churchill. The bit I left out in the Hitler story. Hitler was scared of this man. Yeah. And I can tell you something else about Winston Churchill. Go on. Um, he said he can remember being in the womb. <laughs> and he was born in a public toilet. <laughs> Flat record. <laughs> and Carl. Um, Carl called me in the week, Steve. I know, yes. I know we sort of ban each other from speaking to him. Well, you seem to have just disobeyed that rule. I, I can't believe it. I just can't resist it. But, um, he said, uh, oh, just saw a programme. He said, what's that big balloon that blew up? And the newsreader was going all mental. And I went, is that the, the Hindenburg? He went, yeah. Oh, I said, it was a, a big Zeppelin. He went, yeah. He went, what happened? I said, I said, he said, it was helium, wasn't it? And I went, yeah. I said, it was a big, just a huge Zeppelin full of helium. And what caused us? I don't know, it could be a spark or anything, but of course it just goes, because it's helium so flammable. And he went, now they didn't show this in the documentary, but did all their voices go funny? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, what? He went, well, no, even if you take a little bit of a little balloon of helium, your voice goes funny. So if that was, like, millions of gallons of it, and it blew up in the air, and you were, and it was in the atmosphere, you'd be going, are we talking like Donald Duck? He went. So, imagine that. God. And I, and, but I, what I liked about it, I said, this wasn't in the documentary. No. No, it was an oversight. Maybe just time was against him and they didn't have time to explain Just it. like that, but that book about Hitler didn't have his one ball incident. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It annoyed me, that. What? What is? The old Hitler book. Why? Just just because I, I knew it all. Do you know what I mean? I was cycling in today. I was like, yeah, yeah going through it all again. Yeah. Had it all in my head. But that's why you should know something as opposed to just cram and have a piece of trivia that's, that's pre- precariously sort of teetering on the edge. But what I don't understand you know what I mean? It's, 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 were you not interested by it? That's it's what I mean. It's one of the most you know, fascinating things. I you am, you know about things you're interested in. You never forget them, do you? You know. Yeah, I, I was a bit interested in it, but like I say, I mean, I'm cramming all this in, in into a, a normal week. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. You go on and, you know, you watch telly and that in the week, you've got loads of leisurely time. I'm sort of using the only little bit of rest time I have to learn, as well as try to do all my other stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He texted me yesterday about Hitler. He went, he went, stop making me read this heavy shit. He said, I've seen in the back of this book, there's one on Elvis. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it is, it is interesting, but not when you have to read it, do you know what I mean? Right. It's, it's but do you think you'd have read time. it in your leisure time? To be honest? No, you wouldn't no, have read it. I wouldn't, no. No, what do you do in your leisure time? Um, I like, you know, going f- out for food and that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. Foraging. What do you mean going out yeah. for food? Go like, have a little yeah. hole and go, <laughs> go hunting. Mm. Yeah. This is Carl. He's hungry. He knows he has to get to the greasy spoon by eleven. Wow. 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 Many of he- Carl's close friends have never made it across this road. <laughs> There was a zebra crossing installed just for the safety of Carl. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, can I have a bacon body into- Carl is enjoying his- Wow! But he has to get back. <laughs> his girlfriend's asked for one as well. <laughs> She's home with the PlayStation 2. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Beep. 
<laughs> Alright, Rick. <laughs> it was David Bowie impressions earlier, now it's just a selection of crazy sound effects, like that guy you in Police you Academy. Some. You said you wanted some. He hasn't got time to make them up. He's reading about Hitler. You heard him. Do a machine we've, gun or a helicopter. We've, we've, got, we've got to do all our own sound effects. <laughs> oh. So do you, want a, do you want a week off? Do you not want to learn about Winston Churchill? Why don't you read it if you want to, and just, uh, if, you, if you get ex interested, then read on. I think that's- Cause that's what I did with school, and it didn't work. <laughs> no, you decided you didn't want to. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So- But hasn't that, hasn't that taught you something? <laughs> Can't we just do it like a TV series? It doesn't go on forever. We've done three weeks. Give it a rest now for the for like the summer. Yeah, cause most series last for three weeks. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. Okay.